Breaking news. APC governors pressuring Buhari not to sign Electoral Act. Wiki. Hello, my wonderful people. We all know the governor of uh, River State. And um, in his opinion, he feels very strongly that a new amended Electoral Act uh, bill should be signed by Buhari so that Nigeria has a template on how things should be going forward. But guess what? APC governors, because they want things to be done in a certain way that we favor them, and the act of Godfatherism will always or ever be there where they left government but they are ruling by proxy, you know, will always be there. And so they don't want things to be done decently and in order. This is what we is complaining about. It says this is so unfair. Okay, the APC governors are prevailing on Buhari. I mean, if we have a good leader before, who are APC governors to tell him what to do? Of course, he will get advice. He will seek counsel. However, we have a man who does, does he really exist? Is he really there? What I'm, I'm not saying he's dead or anything. What I'm saying is, if you are there and you are a leader, we should feel your impact. Okay? A leader's impact that is not felt is as though he's never there. You see? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. River State Governor Newsom Wiki has said that the governors of the All Progressive Congress, APC, have been mounting pressure on President Muhammad Buhari not to sign the Electoral Act into law. According to Wiki, APC governors are afraid of electronic transmission of result, and because of this, they have been advising the president not to sign the bill. Because if they go ahead and this is signed, then there will be real trouble. There will be real trouble because Nigerians are tired of the failed government we currently have right now. Nigerians are tired of those who have continued to destroy this nation in every way for more kind. So they know that if electronic transmission of results is the order of the day, I can tell you almost all APC governors, if we are to go by the election process, will not get into office again. For this reason, they are prevailing on the president not to sign the Electoral Act. It's really a shame because this would have been a landmark of Buhari's administration and move the nation forward. However, Buhari have listened to those who do not mean him well. The February 26 by-election in Cross River State is a must-win for the People's Democratic Party, he stated. Speaking during a campaign flag off at the Calabar Sp Sports Club and presentation of flag to the People Democratic Party for the Ogboje Laye Federal Constituency and Akbaboyo State Constituency, Wike said PDP was prepared to take over the state from APC. I can go home and feel fulfilled that Cross River State is PDP. What I was told is that they don't want you. To hold the rally. If you do not hold this rally, then PDP is finished. I am going to give you more support. They tried it in Rivers in 2015 and we resisted them. Earlier, the state chairman of PDP, Vanye Ikem, assured the people that the party will reclaim the state from APC. Some big names who attended the rally at the weekend were we former Governor Lai Imokon, former Deputy Governor Ifoko, Ko Kobom and Ekbom Okon, among others. Governor Wiki assured them that the will and the continuous resilience to win is a must and must not be given up on. So this is what happened. Wiki was in Cross River State where the flag off of the People's Democratic Party has taken place. So, you know, the governor of uh, Cross River State woke up one morning and said, ah, no, 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 he just discovered that Buhari is doing fantastically well. In fact, he just realized, ah, and in his heart of hearts, he cannot uh, sit back and pretend that he did, not, he did not see what Buhari has done. So for this singular reason, he's going to support what Buhari, the come rain, come shine, ah, Buhari is his man. And he was going to do everything, humanly speaking, to support Buhari. So he said he was going to support Buhari, which is fine. Again, it, it's, a it's a choice at the end of the day. Every single person is entitled to their opinion. So you can't fight them. You can't frown at them and you can't tell them 
they don't, he doesn't have a choice, okay? Because at that time, he, and even in his own state, he can tell you what Fulani heads men were doing to, to people. But guess what? Matter reaching us later was that he has been told he will become president and uh, he has a good chance of becoming Nigerian's president. So he believed, will I call it a lie? Because we can hear Ashiwaju Amebola Tinobu saying, come rain, come shine. Come rain, come shine. We are taking, you know, we are taking, uh, uh, becoming the president. It's, in fact, he said this is long life ambition. Okay, so come rain, come shine. It is his long life ambition. And he is going to become Nigerian's president, whether Nigerians like it or yes or not. So this is what, you know, the, the intention, the move, the drive is. Okay, come rain, come shine. He said, no, we are becoming Nigerians president. So, I mean, these are people, for instance, the Eboin state governor said, ah, People Democratic Party has been, by the way, we are not uh, support, soliciting for any political party. They are all the same. They've all had opportunity at one point or another to bring about true change. They've all been in leadership. I mean, APC, a fairly new party compared to People Democratic Party, but they've been there now. It's seven years, not a long time to make a real impact or change so i mean it's the same people all over and over again and we're not even moved we're not moved by per, 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 personally all these things we're saying we we understand them totally completely and thoroughly okay so we're not moved by you know their inability to tell the truth or to be really intentional to bring about true change people democratic party was there for a long time before apc came on board why did so many nigerians that's a former lagos the former cross river state governor who moved saying buhari was doing excellently well and everybody said really uh, the, the thing would they give you so now wow not be so smart thing or not be smart thing they do to you so because whatever they told you must have really worked because everybody can tell okay everybody can tell that this is a failed i mean they, they, this is a failed venture buhari's i mean the whole the whole thing is a scam Okay, they came in telling us what they were going to do and all and all and all. And we believe them. Today, here we are. The country is just, if you call it a state of dilemma, you are not wrong. Okay, the country is in that state where we're just looking up to God, counting the days, counting the, the, the thank God is, I mean, a, a year, less than a year to go. Whereas, as soon as, by this time next year, elections are on, you know. So by the time elections are over, it's time for handover. And that's, you know, all, all things being equal. So Nigerians are really looking and counting, counting down. So if you have done well, Nigerians should not be counting down. In fact, they should, they should be saying, let this man remain now. Does he have to go? But when everybody's counting down, then you know that you are a complete and total failure. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.